Hello guys, I'm back again and this is just a quick video on the basics of iMovie. So if you enjoy it, give me a good old thumbs up and maybe subscribe if you want to see some more. So first of all, what you need to do when you open it, you'll get greeted by a screen similar to this. You always just need to click new and then click movie. And then I always go for no theme, but you can choose one if you want. Um, iMovie tutorial. And this is just why you give it a name. And then yeah. You just click OK. And then it opens it up. So once you've got your video open, you can open up your file. So what I make sure I just make sure I've got all the stuff ready. So I'm just gonna show you how I did it with my own logic pro video basically. So you just double click and open this. And then this is this one. So then I had all my stuff ready, so I had my intro um, and my outro, and I had my logo, so I'm just going to drag my logo over here, and this is my style. So, I'm going to just give you a quick graphic of that. Um, I'm going to have this about 4 seconds, uh, 3 seconds long. Um, so yeah, you just hover over the edge of the thing, and then click and hold down, and then move out to alter the time, and then the time that it lasts for just pops up above that. Um, so I'm going to go for 3 seconds with this, and then say you want it to come up differently than this, then you can click there, and then you can do crop to fill, crop to fit, and things like that. So that doesn't look too great, but I mean, help. So I use just photo booth for the off screen stuff, of, like my face as I'm talking and stuff. And then I just use QuickTime to re record for the rest. So I'm just drag that out over here. Um, and then just edit it. So I don't need this beginning bit because this is just when I'm starting recording. So all I do is I just hover over that and then go over to this. And then I'm not quite sure where it actually started, but um, yeah. Then the second part of this, which is equally as important for my videos, is the off-screen things. So as you can see, I started this a second later. So you just hover this over the top and make sure you drop it above. And then you see that just replaces it, but we don't want that. So what I want, personally, is I want to make it so I have the video inside the video. So what I click is this button here. And then I click this drop down menu here and click picture in picture. And then this separates me out over here. So basically this doesn't start until here. So I'm gonna get rid of this part. There you go, so now you see you've got the picture in picture. But I'm gonna move this down here because I don't want it in the top corner because that blocks out some of the important things. And you can change the things like the border um, and just things like that. Have a shadow to make it pop out a bit, but then there are parts of the video that I don't want. Like, I know at the end there were things that were just a waste of time, yeah. And then you can right click and then click split clip, and then this gets rid of this, and that's a five point two minute chunk. But then simultaneously, I can do it with this split clip, and then that just removes that part. But I don't like the music had in the background of that, so. Uh, sound effects, and then you get all these are copyright free, and you're free to use them, Apple have like given you to us, whatever. So you can just choose one. So let's go for something stupid like that. Hover over them, and then press down Alt, and then click, and then just drag across, and then it'll give you the chance to copy and paste them again. But then you might have things like this is too loud and you notice that it's, you can't actually change the volume that well. So you can double click on this, then click the speaker icon up here and then drag it manually. And then it's just a lot easier and a lot more accurate. So say you want to turn that down to about 50%. You don't want to actually bring the volume up too much in my opinion because then you get lose some sound quality. But what you can do is you can equalize the thing to bring out vocals a lot more. And then you sound louder. 
on top of the video. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, just give me a like and a good old uh, subscribe and pop down in the comments kind of things that you might want to see in the future. It will help me out a ton. So thanks for watching again and see you soon. Thank you.